Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again. Uh, taking a look at installing my brother printer on Linux Lite. It's an older brother printer. It's a printer. It's an MFC 9700. I've been installing this thing since Ubuntu 6.1, 6.10. Uh, on Linux, it's on Ubuntu based systems. It's changed a little bit over the years, the installation routine. Well, let's check it out. Uh, <clears throat> First, we're going to Google the Brother Linux drivers because they're not installed by default and they do have a nice uh, support Linux support page. The next step you're going to do is you're going to find your your bro particular brother printer. And a lot of times, if you don't know what you have, if it's older, an HL 1230, 1240, or 1250 will a lot of times be compatible, but you might have limited options. Uh, luckily, my my printer is on here. 90, it's a MFC 9700 laser printer and when you come to the page you're going to see a couple options you're going to see RPMs and DEBs now if you're on Linux Lite or any Debian based system you're going to want the DEB file and you can see these drivers are pretty old March 20, 31st 26, 2006 so we're going to download both of these we're going to download both the LPR driver you gotta click accept because they got a little EULA thing go ahead and click save the file don't open it in GDEB it doesn't take very long to download, seconds really, if your internet connection is of any kind of speed. Then you're also going to want the CUPS wrapper driver. Now what this is, the way the brother drivers work for this particular printer, and for a lot of their printers, is that they take an older LPR printer system driver and they slap a CUPS wrapper around it so that the CUPS, the CUPS driver, everything actually is run by the LPR driver but the CUPS driver talks to the LPR driver if that LPR driver if that makes sense it doesn't matter if you understand any of that because we don't care all we want to do is get the thing working uh, with our system now there are some instructions and what you want are instructions for the CUPS wrapper driver because again we're using CUPS and you're going to see a bunch of things. Check if pre-required procedures are completed. OpenSUSE, Debian, Ubuntu, 64-bit. Uh, I'm running 32-bit Linux Lite. I'm going to come down here now. Check this area for the following products. My MFC 9700 is in here. So I'm going to click on this link. And basically it's going to say for Debian-based distributions, you need this command. You don't really need this command, but your installation will get some strange error messages if you don't put it in. So we're going to put it in. So I'm just going to copy and paste this command right into the terminal. For you people out there who are terminal pho terminal phobes who don't like the terminal, th this isn't that bad. Trust me. So we're going to say sudo, and then we're going to paste in that command. And what this is going to do, this is going to link, make a sim link between the LPD printer system and the CUBSYS system. And this is basically so that the installation routine for the uh, one of the uh, one of the printer driver components will complete without any errors. Okay, password. And if I could type my password, things would be easy. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the next step now is we are done with with this. We can get rid of this. The next step is to go to our downloads folder, and we're going to see two two files. We're going to see cups wrapper MFC 9700 blah 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 and MFC 9700 LPR blah 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 blah. You want to install the LPR one first. So sudo and it's dpackage dpkg. Uh, uh, whatever you call that, hyphen I for install. And then we're going to issue a particular command. Now, this is in the brother documents if you look through them. Force all. This is going to force the command to go through. And MFC, the LPR driver, hit tab to auto complete. Okay. And there she goes. You get a lot of gobbledygook. Oh my god, there's an error. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing, but for the CUPS driver. Now 
Now here I got something interesting. I let this sit for a little, uh, I tried this a little while ago, and I let this sit there for a while. And it just sat there. And I don't know exactly what it's doing here at this step. There's nothing left for it to do, but it hasn't actually completed. So, oh, I just didn't wait long enough. There it goes. Never mind. I was going to show you how to fix that if D package failed, but I'll save that for another video. So that should be good. You sh that should be all there is to it. So we come over here to menu and setting, not settings, it's a system. System printing. And look, there's my printer. I didn't show this before we started, but trust me, it wasn't there. It was, was a brand new, fresh install. Didn't touch a thing. But I'm not going to be able to print because, and I'll show you why, this assumes that I'm connected by the USB port. I'm not. My brother printer sits over a network. If you're hooked up to USB, hey, you're probably good to go. If not, you're going to need to change the device URI. And if you happen to know it, go ahead and feel free to type it in. But this helps you build it, this network printer option. And mine works the drive, the, I have one of these, uh, oh, what are they? It's a Netgear PS101 something. Um, it's a print server. It's a little box. It's a print server that plugs into the uh, parallel printer port. And this thing works great on the network. I know it's I know it's address. I know it's queue. All the computers in my house are plugged into it exactly the same way. Um, so I know that this is 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 what I what I have. And I type one nine two point one six eight point one point one fifty. Now I already know that my queue is L one. That came in the instructions for my device. Your queue may be different. You'll need to consult that depending on how you're set up. Um, if you've published your printer, if you're sharing this on a, another cup system, have you published the printer? It's probably providing this information already. You may not have any problems whatsoever. So plug in L1. Okay, and you'll see that it didn't change. Aha, except I'm telling you, it did. So I'm gonna click OK, and then we'll come back in. For whatever reason, you see it's changed now. Whatever reason, this screen doesn't update correctly uh, uh, when you use the change button. So I suggest if you make a change, go out and come back. Don't you, it, your change has probably gone through. And click test page, and out a test page will come. Test page submitted. Yay for you! And you can see idle data sent successfully. And I wish you could hear it, but my jet engine of a laser printer is fired up, and out comes the standard Ubuntu Cups test page. It's that simple. It's not hard at all. Your printer might even be easier, but that's how you install Brother Printer in Linux Lite. Okay, if you got any questions, head over to the Linux distro community. Post a question up in the forums. Uh, feel free to drop a comment down here, but uh, I, I'm learning it just like you guys are, so the Linux distro community forums are the way to go. So Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.